What is the aim of a digital transformation, especially in manufacturing? Well, companies want to become more productive, more flexible, but also resilient against fast-changing environments. The use of data is key. So in a nutshell, it is about to create a digital business model. Today, I'm really happy to invite Martin Jaus on this stage. He's the general manager of Wood Industry Service. And your company did something pretty well because you defined a complete digital business model for the integrated supply chain. Martin, can you give us some insights on that, please? Yeah, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation. It's an honor for us as fastener supplier to be on the stage here together with you and talk about digital connectivity overall because it's not the direct link between screws and digital uh, opportunities. So when we started 20 years ago as Wood Industry Service, mm -hmm. we started very analog. We looked at C parts, small parts and looked into processes at manufacturing industries mm -hmm. of how can we secure the supply of small parts into the production sites. Can you give us a definition of these C parts? What is it about? C parts is very easy. We see in the picture behind us the classical screw, fasteners, nuts and bolts, but it is much more. It is more all the small parts that need to be handled, mm -hmm. that need to be there in the production to make the production flow and that cannot be missed because then the production would stop. Mm -hmm. The importance of process is there but the value of the item is very low. This is C-Pods. Uh -huh. And what's new your idea about the digital business model for that things? Over the years in the cooperation and partnerships with our customers, we felt the need of changing the analog supply chain into a more proactive, into a more transparent supply chain. And there, digital solutions came into the play. Mm -hmm. So we, as c -Pod supplier, feel the necessity to be on the edge of technology, mm -hmm. to secure supplies and therefore secure productions. Mm -hmm. Our companies have a very close relationship for many years now and in a very special way because we are both supplier and customer. You're using our technologies and our components and we are using the sea parts supplied by Wirt Industry Service in our own factories. So let's have a look at the plant in Karlsruhe um, where we manufacture industrial PCs, process automation equipment as well as our scalins, um, industrial routers and, and um, uh, the communication equipment. Um, can you give us an explanation how this system works in the plant in Karlsruhe? I think the plant in Karlsruhe from Siemens is a perfect example um, because it's a manufacturing site where a lot of components are being put together mm -hmm. and the end product is a really digital device um, which makes life easier for everybody. So what we do there is we supply all the small parts that are necessary to produce those devices. Mm -hmm. In the end, it's very easy. The worker on the production side needs fasteners, needs small parts, needs C parts, manufactures um, what is ever necessary in that step and takes those items out of a bin. The bin is being brought to the pro uh, production site by us mm -hmm. and it is intelligent. So the RFID technology is put on the bin whenever the bin is empty, so the last screw has been used, the worker puts the bin onto an intelligent shelf. This information of the RFID tech is being transmitted to us. We know what is needed and we can bring the next bin full and ready to use to Karlsruhe, to the worker, mm -hmm. in order to have the production flow going. Mm -hmm. I already had the chance to visit the plant and also to see the system running. And I was really impressed how smooth and seamless this process integrates in the daily work of the workers. So we do not have to do an additional step. It's just available for them. And that works pretty, pretty cool in, in that plant. Now, beside of the, the business parts and the applications, let's focus a little bit on the technology itself. What's the most important thing here? When we had that step and that urge to go into the digital world. We had a broad view at the technology market to see what works best for our business mm -hmm. supply chain security. And we then started also a project with um, Siemens mm -hmm. in going into the um, RFID 
world because 20 years ago, RFID and fasteners, metal, mm -hmm. was difficult to match. We together had the possibility to make it work, to use RFID technology as a stable, industrialized technology mm -hmm. to secure supply chain um, efficiency. The core of it is really stability. Mm -hmm. The technology cannot fail. And this is where we feel RFID is right now the state of the art mm -hmm. and the technology um, in our field of operations. Mm -hmm. For us, we have uh, the term digital connectivity for that um, to explain how really the shop floor things and how the real actions on the shop floor are interconnected with the IT models with a digital twin and also um, across companies and, and um, supply chain systems at the end. So I think it's not just RFID, you're using also other technologies as well? Yeah, um, RFID is the basis, but mm -hmm. then we have different applications to it. We have shelves, we have boxes, we have gates in order to copy whatever happens on the floor in the best way into the digital worlds. As you mentioned, digital connectivity, digital twin, this is what it's all about. Also in small parts, also in C parts, um, because this makes the supply chain more efficient. Mm -hmm. yeah. As I mentioned in the beginning of that speech, um, um, I said that companies have to become more resilient, especially in, in our times. Um, what's the, the benefit here from your system? How does it help companies to become re resilient in their supply chains? The field of action in which we are right now in our, with our partners is more dynamic than ever. Mm -hmm. Not only during, uh, due to the situation right now in the economy, but also due to different types of manufacturing strategies. Mm -hmm. We have seasonal active customers where, for example, in the agricultural industry, there are peaks of production and downs of product production. We have situations where the supply chain is very dynamic. Mm -hmm. And we have also situations where the manufacturing lot size one gets more and more important. Mm -hmm. So having all of that together is what manufacturing pro uh, or pro production companies are facing right now. Mm -hmm. We as supply chain orchestrate experts, exper uh, experts mm -hmm. orchestrate that and we need the information almost on a live basis mm -hmm. because only if we know what the current inventory level at the customer is, we can secure that tomorrow the production is still running. Mm -hmm. And the dynamic makes it necessary to use digital information, to use data in order to make it transparent to the whole supply chain, not only one-to-one -one supplier and customer, but cross-border, cross-company. Mm -hmm. Well, as the inventor of the digital integrated screw and bolt, I think you're not at the end of your journey. What's coming next? You're exactly right. Um, digital transformation uh, is just at the beginning right now. Digital connectivity opens a whole new world. IoT as one of the main bullet words in the past five years mm -hmm. is advancing and advancing as we speak. So we feel that our possibilities, which we build up over the past 10 years of experience with hardware and software in supply chain security, enable us to help manufacturing companies to get to the next level. So we plan to use that information to analyze data, mm -hmm. to give that knowledge to our customers also for other types of products, for other types of applications, and also wherever in the world they need that. So mm -hmm. we also go into a hardware as a service or software as a service provider, even as a screw supplier in the manufacturing world. Mm -hmm. Sounds great, Martin. And um, we're really looking forward to support you with the right technologies coming uh, at the right time for your developments. So, thank you very much for joining this session and watching uh, this, this interview. If you want to get more information about the digital transformation and, and how your company can benefit from the industrial Internet of Things, please visit our virtual booth here at the SPS. Thank you very much and bye-bye.